Hey everybody, how we doing today? We got a nice day here in the Florida Keys. Got a nice little breeze to keep us cool. But uh, we are back out here to the spot. I basically broke the uh, motor mount when I was doing the six horsepower outboard on the last motor. And it's actually my second time out here. First time, came all the way out here. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna do my intro here and just explain we're back to the same spot. And then I looked around, and I don't have my camera. I'm like, oh crap. So I swore I brought it, so it must be at the car. So I went all the way back, went to my car, and it wasn't there. So I was like, oh great. I either really forgot it at home, or I dropped it on the way down to the kayak or something. But I was like, oh God, so what am I gonna do? I said, I'll, I'll just stick around the launch and then maybe fish the bridge. I've got my uh, camera stick camera there so I could use that one and okay and then go walk down to the kayak and there's my camera sitting on the seat I was sitting on it the whole time so yeah, all right so I came all the way back out here now I'm doing my intro so today I think I am either going to go to the patcheries which are not that far you might be able to see the marker out there it's maybe half a mile away from that uh, or go out to the edge of the reef I've got a couple of chum blocks. I'm just kind of not sure what to do. Uh, next week is the uh, spring time change. So I'll gain an hour and that's a lot better for me to do the long range trips because now I've got two or three hours and that's it. So we'll see. I'm going to go hit the uh, channel marker for Hawks Channel. There's a couple of patries there. Take a look around there. If that doesn't look very good and then I'll make it to the edge of the reef. Ooh, bait. But uh, anyways, that's our plan. All right, we're over here towards the edge of the reef. I'm kind of in this little peninsula sticking out. So I'm just gonna run and find the edge where it drops off and then uh, come back and see uh, which way the current is running with the chum. So, let me get it situated and drop anchor. Wow, I don't know what that is. But I've got my dive goggles to find out. See what's down there. So this is better than any fish finder. Get to see it in real life. <laughs> so that's the drop off there. That's the ledge. So I'm gonna go back, sit up on top, and then hopefully, depending on where the chum is running, push over. So let's go back now. Beautiful blue water here, a lot of weeds. Guarantee there's sailfish around. All right, let's drop over here. this all right we're all anchored up there got the quick release anchor i think it's perfect the wind and the current is pushing straight out to the atlantic so it'll be going over that edge but let me put some chum out and see if uh we attract anything i don't have any bait so we gotta catch some all right we got the all about the bait three quarter inch mesh bag my own custom design bag one of many but that will work. And we'll drop that over the side. Let's see if we can get some bait. All right, there we go. All right, while that's kind of doing its thing, we're gonna start rigging up. All right, so the chum is running out that direction, which is good, except it's really not good for bait catching, or at least catching bait quickly. I'm thinking I might go back on top of the reef so I can catch bait. I'm going to give it about 10 minutes more. And if no bait shows up, then I'm going to go move back up. This is a spot I would like to fish, but if I had bait. Because the current chum is going right over the edge, which is great for the bigger stuff, but not if you don't have anything to fish with. 
and I see nothing, 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 nothing coming up chum line. I have nothing, no bait. Dang it. My options right now are saying screw it and go outside the weed lines and see if it's somewhat clear and troll. Just run some uh, paddle tails back or I can go back up to the hump. There's a hump right up here. It gets pretty shallow and then uh, re-anchor up, put the chum back out and hopefully bait will show up then. Then come back out here once I've acquired some bait. So I'll have to ponder. All right, I'm anchored up and set up above this kind of pinnacle. So it's only 20 feet here and then it drops off. And there's another pinnacle and then it goes out to the outer edge and drops off. So this will get me into some bait, hopefully, being a lot shallower and there's more patch reefs around. So uh, let's see if I can catch some bait. Man, look at that blue fish. Man, there's a bunch of them. Wow, oh, they're beautiful. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a lot of uh, Bermuda chubs, but there should be a ballyhoo, hopefully, or some jacks or something. Man, those one fish, coral fish are blue as all can be. This is about 30 seconds for me putting the chum out. Where'd those blue fish go? Dang chubs, dang chubs. That's gonna problem because they're gonna push the uh, ballyhoo away. Oh, those blue ones came back. Where did they go? It's like four of them. Dang chubs. Why couldn't you be? Oh, there's the blue one. I don't want to get you. There you go. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha you on film. I got gotcha. you. I'm looking right at you. Hehe, <laughs> gotcha. Hope my camera's working. Get out of the way, chubs. Get out of the way. There he is. I think I'm getting him. You're blocking the star of the show. There's a yellow tail in there. Get out of here. Oh, there they are down in the bottom. Bunch of them there. Blue ones, blue ones, purpley blues. That's my whole video right there. That's what I caught today. Pretty blue ones. Man, really blue. Catch one, put one in my pocket. Look how colorful it is. Man. Whoa. I'm just feeding the fish. Maybe I'll just make this the whole dang video. I ain't gonna be able to catch bait. Oh, there's smaller stuff back there. Oh, those yellow, yellow tails. My aquarium. Welcome to my aquarium. Got Bermuda chubs, Bermuda chubs, Bermuda chubs. Some beautiful bluefish looking coral fish. There's some yellow tail snappers in there. Get, get, get. All right, this is turning into a nightmare here. Um, maybe I'll go halfway between the outer edge and the pinnacles. 
I, I took the chum out and then all the chums disappear, but as soon as I put it back in, they're gonna come back. I need to have some sort of bait, anything. Well, that resolved that. My anchor line broke. So I lost my anchor, anchor chain, all the line, my winder that I wind the line on. All I've got is the bumper. Perfect. Just perfect. Well, I just took a look around. By chance that thing floats, but it doesn't float. I knew it didn't float. But I looked anyways. Yeah. All right. So, I'm gonna pack everything up. I think I'm gonna run out to that weed line on the outside of the reef. I've been looking this whole time to see if there's any birds or anything, but haven't seen much, but I saw all those dolphin out there. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna go out to that weed line and I'm gonna drift with it and just relax. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna hang out there and just kind of chill out, be calm. So that's our next plan. All right, I made it out to this little weed line. So I'm just gonna hang out here just let the rage just kind of evacuate my soul. I'm just going to look for birds, bait busting, any activity. Maybe even put some chum out here since there's probably a lot of bait fish running along this edge here. Never know. May, might be able to do something today. But yeah, let's just keep hanging out and seeing what happens. All right, I am seeing no activity and I'm in a high risk zone right now, not just because of my rage, but uh, we've got winds coming out of the northish, so it's blowing out to sea, which is never good. Uh, and the worst part is that right at sunset, about seven o'clock, it picks up to about 20 knots. And that would be really bad if I had some sort of problems going back in because I don't think I can make it back in. Plus, I don't have an anchor so I couldn't stop. Plus, it, that wind blows for like 24 to 36 hours straight. So, <laughs> it would be really bad. I would be heading Cuba direction for 24 to 36 hours. So, I think, yeah, I was hoping to see some activity out here, but I'm just not seeing it. So what I'm going to do is uh, go back to the edge of the reef. I'll use my fish finder, see if I see any schools of activity, drop them down. Otherwise, I'm going to call it an early day. I've got to make a run down to Key West to stock up Esky. They've got a huge order. So at least I'll be back and take care of that. So, all right, let's head back towards the, the reef. Monsters! Ah, you gotta attack me! You gotta attack me, monsters! All right, we made it back inside. Plenty of time to spare. Sun is still up. I was debating on maybe throwing the CUDA tube for a bit, or maybe cast netting some pilchards out here. I see the birds are working, and maybe hitting the bridges. But then I said, ah, screw that. I'm done. I'm going home. I'm taking my kayak and I'm going home. So that's the plan now. Screw this day. All right, I am packed up and ready to go. Sun's just starting to set there, but I'm ready to stick a fork in today. It was a total disaster. And I had the rope right here in my car. <laughs> I've had this rope in my car for about two weeks. Ah. Oh just a disaster but no worries one more week then we've got the uh, time change i gain an hour and then my life gets so much so much easier with that extra hour plus the the daylight will start extending out so everything will be a lot better 
But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye. All right, time to build our replacement anchor setup. Uh, I use what's called a QRAS, which is quick release anchor system. Uh, I'll put a link to a video somewhere around here which shows how I build them and then how I actually use them. Uh, very important when anchoring in the current, uh, like the bridges down here and the channels out on the reef or out on the reef because you need to be able to uh, break that anchor free so it doesn't get stuck and you get stuck. Um, but I went ahead and stopped off at uh, Home Depot and West Marine, picked up everything I needed here. So basically I've got the existing float, I didn't lose that. Uh, picked up this 2.2 pound claw anchor. Uh, this is important because it has the breakaway release system on it. Uh, so you don't have to worry about your anchor getting stuck. I also picked up a three foot of chain and what that's going to do is going to weight the back end of the anchor so it forces it down and then the tines of the anchor will dig in faster so you'll stop faster and it'll dig into mud and so forth. Uh, I've got basically $26 into that. Uh, then at uh, Home Depot I picked up a anchor shackle and that's going to go here and that's where my chain is going to mount to it. Got this cord storage wrap and that's where I'm going to wind up all the rope. And then I uh, usually I buy just the uh, cheap um, uh, laundry cordage for drying your, uh, your clothesline stuff. But uh, that usually goes for 200 foot for 10 bucks. And then I usually buy two of those because I was setting up for deep water anchoring up to 200, 200 feet down in the uh, uh, lower keys. But in the mid keys, there's really no deeper structure or anchor to worry about that. So I went ahead and upgraded to some poly blend rope. Uh, it's going to be stronger and a little bit mildew and rot resistant. So we'll see how that works. It's a little bit more stiff, so I'm going to see how I like that. But uh, I got two 100 foot sections and those were 13 bucks each. Uh, so the Home Depot stuff was 36 bucks. So I'm around $65 into replacing that as anchor parts that I lost. But uh, anyways, let me throw this together real quick and let you check it out. All right, the anchor system is done. So let me show you what we've got. Starting with the claw anchor here. I like those, especially on the reef or any kind of sand at the bridges as well. Uh, the tines will dig in. The chain basically is weighing down this point. So when it falls, It'll fall like that and then it'll dig in really quickly. Uh, this anchor setup is also a breakaway system. So the contact point here is just held by a zip tie. So if this gets lodged under something, I can't free it. I could yank on the, the rope and the chain. It'll break the zip tie. And then my contact point is back here, which allows me to pull it away from the obstruction and it'll allow me to free it up. Then I just put another zip tie on and we're good to go. So anytime you're doing the reef type stuff, you want to have a breakaway. Uh, I've got the chain, got our nylon rope there, poly rope to our winder there. So I could just put out as much as I need and then just kind of tie it off there. Then it goes to my float. So it's a quick release. So I could just dump it off whenever I need to and then come back and reset up. Uh, then it comes to a little bungee here. This is a rubber, so it gives a little bit of shock absorbency. Um, that works with the anchor system on the kayak, which is just this long rope here. Um, I have it tied up to a quick release here. So once I'm setting up, it goes in there and then to pull it that way, it's stuck. But if I pull forward, it just releases it. And then once I do that, I'm drifting that way. This will come out there and then this will just basically come loose and then I'm free with just one little tug. That's why it's the quick release anchor system there. Then uh, when I want to come back to it, since I've got the float, I just go down current, come up current, run into it, feed the line through it on one motion and then just rearm it by putting it into the clutch there and that is the quick release anchor system and we're back in business 64 bucks dang it pouring some lead today 
I also went and swapped out the line for my flats anchor. Uh, this one I just use for the shallows, so one foot to maybe three foot most of the time. Occasionally I'll do a channel or a bridge, but uh, otherwise it's got all new fresh line. Got this replacement mushroom anchor, but I still want to go back out and see if I could uh, magnet fish my other anchor up. But uh, otherwise this one's good to go as well. Alrighty, so hopefully I've got all the bugs worked out. Uh, these anchors are done, so hopefully I'm good to go. Uh, this weekend is the time change. That's a huge deal for me because uh, I have such a small window in the evenings. Adding hour, two hours, almost three hours to my fishing time is massive. So expect some uh, much better fishing coming up. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.